Another day, another story. The coronation, Penny Mordaunt's swordsmanship, and his most important final moments won. Penny Mordaunt wields swords Penny Mordaunt caused a flurry of activity on social media as she starred in the coronation, clutching ceremonial swords for over an hour. Many on Twitter pointed to the Tory MP's strength, even drawing praise from her party's political opponents. Don't let anyone say I never say anything positive about the Tory. I'm in awe of at Penny Mordaunt's arm and shoulder strength, former Labour circulatory Dr. Alistair Campbell tweeted. Speaking to the Radio Times before the ceremony, she joked that she had been preparing by doing some press. While Mordaunt's bespoke attire, complete with a matching cape and headband with feather embroidery, also caught people's attention, with many drawing comparisons to Henry VIII's second wife and Boleyn. One woman tweeted, Penny Mordaunt totally stole the show at the Abbey today. She rocks the Anne Boleyn look. The MP and leader of the House of Commons said she was honored to take part in the ceremony through her role as speaker, an ancient role. She carried the 17th century sword of state made for Charles II to Westminster Abbey, exchanging it for the jeweled sword of presentation, which she handed to the Archbishop. Then she carried the jeweled sacrificial sword, with a hilt set with diamonds, rubies, and emeralds, for the remainder of the service and walked with it before the king as he left the abbey. Notably, she became the first woman to bear and present the sword, which symbolized royal authority and the king's acceptance of his duty and knightly virtues. She wrote on Twitter, I am fully aware that our armed forces, police officers and others march or stand for hours as part of the ceremony or to keep us all safe. In comparison, my job was somewhat easier. 2. Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis There was a tender moment between the children of the Prince and Princess of Wales. Prince Louis, aged five, when he held his older sister Princess Charlotte's hand as they walked to Westminster Abbey. The Prince, the youngest child of Prince William and Catherine, has been on his best behavior, having stolen the show at previous royal events including Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee when he appeared to be found a little rowdy while on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. This time, the prince prompted his father to point at something in the distance on the fly and he debuted a new wave, somewhat exaggerated. 3. A gospel choir brings a modern twist The gospel choir added a modern touch to the old concert. The Ascension Choir was carefully selected and assembled especially for the occasion. Dressed all in white, the group of singers sang beautifully and swayed as they performed a specially composed piece Alleluia. They proved successful with Catherine giving a bright smile as she listens. 4. When music royalty meets actual equity singer Katy Perry turned heads in a gorgeous purple Vivian Westwood jacket and skirt and matching ravishing look. But the fireworks singer caught viewers' attention for another reason, as she was struggling to find her seat. She is seen walking up and down the convent looking for him. Katy Perry can't find her seat so am I, a Perry fan tweeted. The pop star, who happily took selfies with other guests, will attend the Coronation Gala in Windsor alongside Lionel Richie on Sunday. Perry later tweeted, don't worry guys I found my seat. 5. Before Prince William SR the King and Prince of Wales shared a touching moment when Prince William paid tribute to his father. Prince William got down on one knee to pledge allegiance to the King, before kissing him on the cheek. Then the King is seen saying a few words to his eldest son. Contrary to tradition, the Prince was the only Prince of Blood to be honored. 